Some are large, but his mistake, born of innocence, fueled by pride, was the greatest and most terrible of them all. Some believed when the prince journeyed to the island of time to escape death, that he returned alone. The amulet destroyed. The Dahaka appeased. The Empress dead. The prince was free at last. But this is not how it happened. The truth is that he chose to save me from my destiny. In doing so, he set me free. And doomed us all. Prince, of all the possible future, this one held the most promise that something has changed. Do not worry, Kailina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. Look, we are nearly home. As our ship lay sinking in the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood-spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Others had taken their place. The prince made his way along the torn and blasted district, haunted by visions from his past. The dockside tavern where he'd spent many late nights was now reduced to cinders. Babylon's proud armada, which he would often come to grief, lay cracked and broken, cast to the bottom of the Euphrates. Everywhere there are signs of battle, but what of Babylon's guard? Where have they all gone?
Why is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? Still, it's better than nothing. Lena. No! No way into the city now. I will have to climb this siege tower and enter from above. sense the others who have passed through this place, intent on bringing harm to my family. Every day spent dreaming of my return to Babylon. But never, in all my visions of the future, did I suspect a homecoming such as this. War. It is the only answer. But war with who? should know that it was not love that drove him, but duty. I was his responsibility. He had made a promise, a promise that was now broken and undone. As with all mistakes he had made, the prince meant to fix this. A noble goal to be certain, but a selfish one as well. For he was motivated to ease his own pain. I know these streets. Knew them anyway. I must keep pace with Kylina if I'm to find the one responsible for this.
Would you like to hear more? Where is kind Asha, who would stand before her stall selling fruits and flowers? Or the errant children, making trouble as all young ones do? Gone. All gone. Home. And yet nothing is as I remember. Objects once familiar and comforting now fill me with uncertainty and dread. What has happened here?
I should be resting now, recovering from my time away, or sitting with father. Instead, I'm forced to run and hide, sneaking about like a common thief, hunted in my own city. Pay attention to what the prince overheard as he drew close to where I was being kept. Many years ago, I journeyed with the Maharaja of India to the island of time, intending to claim what we discovered. Its halls deserted, and its guardians gone to sand. Strange tales its walls which spoke of an empress. An empress of time. But of this enigmatic creature, there is no trace. We return to India with treasure nonetheless. A staff, a dagger, an empty hourglass covered in jewels, and books. Such secrets they contain. For even then, I was an older man, and knew that my child was But the books showed me that life eternal was not beyond my reach, but it required the essence of the Empress herself, the power of the sex. But you were gone. They were gone. So I, I turned my attention towards other pursuits, and left that dream behind. But then... <laughs> Recklessly, the prince drew his weapon and charged forward, intending to rescue me. It was as if he had learned nothing from his past adventures. Or perhaps he'd simply forgotten, made blind and deaf by fear and rage. Alas, the Maharaja... This is how it happened. This is how I died. No! Vizier! Ah, you must be the Prince of Persia. Come home at last. Too late, I'm afraid. I believe I have something of yours. Oh, no!
Father, forgive what I have done, wherever you are. Once more, the wheels of suffering are set in motion by my hand. In taking Kylina from the island of time, I have changed the course of history. Without the sands of time, I never journeyed to Azad, never killed the Vizier. Now he lives again, driven by the same mad desire. I promised no harm would come to her. I am being pushed deeper into the palace and further from my enemy. My arm! What's happening? What has the Vizier done to me? I don't... Oh! Everything had come full circle. The Prince had resurrected his greatest enemy. Worse, he had accidentally delivered me into the man's hands, unleashing a nightmare plague across Babylon. As if this was not enough, the Prince had nearly been transformed by the Sands himself. Though he had avoided death, he had not escaped entirely untouched. Wake up, Prince. Wake up. Wake up!
The way behind you is gone, so you will have to find another exit from these sewers. Be quick about it. Start moving. What? Who's there? Be careful. The planks are slick. Mind your balance. what you will, Prince. But you have been given the ability to destroy your enemies. Now use it. What benefit is this? Even as I fight them, I grow weaker. Kill them, then. Let their lives replenish yours. Feels good, is it not? I assume this is not permanent? It is. If you want it to be. I do not. But you will.
then is this happening to me? You have been infected by the sands of time, as I am sure you have noticed. Maybe it's the death. Maybe it's all the time you've spent amongst the sands. Or <laughs> amongst the Empress. Either way, you are resisting it. Mostly. Mostly? You did just transform into something rather unique. So I think the word is quite appropriate. Think of it this way. You have been given a gift. You're stronger, faster. Uglier. Now, now. That explains the transformation. But who are you? Have you not realized? I am your untapped potential, your unrealized dreams. I am part of you. You... you're inside me? Gone now. Water seems to fight this corruption. Why did you hide this from me? What? And ruin all the fun? <laughs> oh, they do not seem to like the light. When the prince was struck by the sands of time, something was woken within. Something strange and cunning. Something dark. 
The seven years spent on the run had embittered the kids and made him hard. This burden sustained his other half, gave it strength. The prince was tempted to do as it said, for it was a light in the darkness, offering comfort and guidance to a man who had just lost everything. But what were the intentions? Why did it help him? Only time to tell. Father would tell me stories. Pay attention. Something's happening down there. Is that? It's the vizier. He has been completely transformed. Interesting. He has used the power of the sands to transform his army, and these artifacts will allow him to transport them across the city with ease. He appears to be in complete control. Things do not look too good for you at the moment. I will not let the Vizier have Babylon. My city. My throne. Please let me know when you're ready to hear more. Well, that certainly went according to plan, did it not? You really should know by now that entering portals made of sand only leads to trouble. I will simply have to resort to a more traditional form of transport. Hopefully with greater success. Separate them into two paths. Send the weak ones to the workshop. The strong must go to the palace and arena for changing. <laughs>
you sure you can control this thing? Let us hope. If I crash, it is the end for both of us. The Prince! Stop him! And so once more the Prince began the journey home. His mind of fire with visions of the justice he would visit upon the Vizier. That chariot should get us home. Be vigilant. Done well, Prince. Though I am sure it was not intentional. Watch out! That was close. Behind that column. The once bright and vibrant streets of Babylon now stood all but deserted, its inhabitants either dead or fled. Those left behind suffered terribly, captured, tortured, and transformed. But the prince did not notice this. So focused was he on the vizier. I'm impressed. Oh, good. Your opinion means a great deal to me. Is that how you thank the man who just saved your life? First, you did not save my life. I did. Second, you are not a man. Just a disembodied voice. A ghost. And third, I never asked for your help. And I certainly do not need it. While I admire your bravado, you would be wise to show some respect. And you would be wise to keep quiet. You are distracting me and we are no longer alone. Shall I continue my story from here if you are called away? Go! Put it with the others! Why are you doing this? We have done nothing wrong! Save your crying for someone who cares! I should do something. Go ahead, all to your death. That will be of great use to them. It will continue until you have defeated the vizier. You cannot help these people. Then let us make haste.
You're certainly taking your time getting back to this kind of you suggest? That I grow wings and fly? One can always dream. Babylon's defenders still live. The city is not yet taken. Perhaps father is among them. there you have done me a great service show yourself that I might thank you so very strange I wonder no it is silly to think such things
or rooftops. Indeed. Irritating little detour. But let us be on with it. Head down to street level and we will look for a way to regain the rooftops. You are an insistent inner voice, aren't you? Well, someone has to make the decisions. <laughs>
Should I continue from here when you return? I don't like the looks of this. This thing was once a man. He was there when Kylina died. Continue my story from here if you are called away. The prince fled from the arena, embarrassed by the unwanted attention, fearful that they might realize he was becoming a sound master. But something tugged at him. The freed citizens believed he had come to rescue them. The people, his people, now lived when they should have died. This was just an accident. 
His thoughts had been only of reaching the Vizier and exacting revenge. Perhaps now the Prince would remember he once fought for something other than his lost honor. It was simply too soon to tell. Await your response. I have heard tales, wondrous tales of a beautiful and brave princess of India, one who has traveled to Babylon seeking to punish an evil vizier who has caused her great distress. See, now she's going to kill us. How in the world have you managed to survive this long? Good luck, stranger. but you lose the girl. It doesn't matter. We're better off without her. Or have you forgotten? Maybe a few arrows in the back will help stir your memory. We must catch up with her. Thank you. 
still have feelings for her. Admit it. Farah and I went through so much together. Though she may not remember, I can never forget. Dagger of time. How did you come to possess that? Here we go again. I took it from the vizier. That traitor. He murdered my father, enslaved my people, imprisoned me, and all in the name of becoming some kind of god. I know too well what he is capable of, but I intend to find him and punish him for what he has done to my kingdom. You are the son of Sharaman, the prince of Persia? And you are the daughter of the Maharaja. We both seek the same thing. Perhaps we should journey together. Perhaps. Provided you can keep up. I grow tired of her little tests. It is simply her way. I assure you, she will prove a valuable ally. With the Dahaka defeated, the prince was slowly regaining pieces of his former self. The pressure and desperation which once drove him were gone. 
Grim as things seemed, there was now hope. Hope that peace could be restored to the land and to our tortured hero. But the vizier's army still hunted him. And they grew 